Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the basics of trucking maintenance. These are absolute basics that you must know if you're either, really, if you're just a truck driver in general, but you know, if you wanna be an owner operator, you definitely wanna uh, want to start learning these things. Or if you're just a company driver that wants to keep rolling and keep making that money, well, stick around. So first of all, before we get started, I wanna say that if you do have knowledge in this area, please feel free to leave comments in the, in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think is important uh, that people should learn that should know about trucking maintenance. I would greatly appreciate that. But let's go ahead and dive right in. Number one is going to be, and you guys that have been around the channel, you know I preach this, preventative maintenance versus reactionary maintenance you're always going to come out ahead with preventative maintenance rather than being reactionary. Reactionary turns into, uh, you know, or, or it's not, it's no longer maintenance. Now you're broken down. You know, that's that's just what it, it, it amounts to. So, you know, preventative maintenance, uh, you know, there are there are things that you can do and buy and, and maintain and keep up with that, you know, yeah, you, you might be a little bit ahead of the interval, but you know what, overall, you're gonna come out ahead. You know, keeping that truck moving is the name of the game. As long as the wheels are turning, then you're gonna be earning. So try to prevent maintenance and not gonna dive into everything that that means. I've done a couple of videos on that specific topic alone, so be sure and hit that subscribe button and check those out. Number two is going to be be prepared by carrying things with you. And I'll give you an example. Uh, you know, I have a red top engine. That means I have a Cummins engine. And on the Cummins, they have we have filters that are built specifically for Cummins. We have Fleet Guard filters. And that's all that I will put on my truck. And I typically always carry a set with me. Now, shamefully, the other day I went and got a PM. I forgot that the, the time before I got a PM, they didn't have my filters. So I went through my filters and this time they didn't have the fuel filter. So unfortunately I had to put a generic one on there. It cost me extra money because when I got home, usually when I get home, I, I like to put my truck in the shop, get the things fixed uh, while I'm, I'm parked at the house. I know that I'm taking time off rather than when I'm out here on the road. But you know, I had to replace that, that fuel filter because I don't like the generic brands being on my truck. It's just something that I don't do. Uh, you know, the fleet guards are built for coming tops, so that's what I like to use. But carrying things with you, uh, you know, it, it, right now, and this is this is kind of, this is a pandemic all, of, all on its own, uh, or at least it's, it's not a pandemic, but it's what I've noticed that, you know, it, things are very difficult to get a hold of right now. And you can see it, if you have been shopping for a vehicle, then you know there really aren't any out there. And it's because production for some reason is slowed. Uh, I don't know what, you know, I don't, I don't know the, the, the logistics of it all and I don't need to get into that, but just understand that truck parts and, and basically anything right now is kind of difficult to get your hands on. So if you know that you're going to be doing something in the future, go ahead and buy it and carry it with you. I have over 888,000 on my truck. The truck is that way, but I, you can't see it because I'm nice and blurred out back there. But you know, on my truck, 888,000, I know that that air compressor is gonna be going out soon. So what I'm gonna do when I get home, I'm going home in a couple weeks, I'm gonna buy an air compressor and I'm gonna carry it with me. This is gonna prevent me from having to call a hook to get me to a shop and then them having to actually find the part. That may take a couple days to find the part, actually get your hands on it. it may take longer than that, I don't know, that's a scary thought, but uh, you know, ultimately I'm going to save myself a lot of money. And it's potentially, but you know, if it happens to go out at a truck stop, I guess good for me, but I, I, I don't wanna roll the dice like that. I'd rather just buy the compressor, have it with me at all times. And it's something that is actually not very difficult to change. So that I can change myself. So, you know, learn to do that as well. That's definitely gonna put you ahead of the game. Now, before I get into number three, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Shell Rotella. So thank you for that. Uh, but number three is oil. And I mean, it, I'm just titling it oil because there's so much involved here. Before I get completely into it, I, I do want to say if you haven't, I highly recommend trying synthetic. Synthetic 
is a better product in my opinion. Uh, you know, it's going to, it's going to save you money, I believe. And the reason that I say that is, you know, yeah, it's more expensive to actually change and use synthetic, but your intervals, you can go much longer. Now you should still, you know, refer to the manufacturer's uh, specifications, but being able to run longer, it, it, at least for me, you know, I have been able to keep my cost exactly the same uh, because I can run twice as long now and, you know, now I'm good. But I get the benefits of a synthetic. And these synthetics are created, they're created to be better, at least I fully think so. You know, personally, my experience, my truck runs smoother. So I know, at least I feel that it is, it is there's a lot less wear and tear on the truck. And if you try it, I fully believe that you're gonna get the same benefits that I've seen. I personally have seen better fuel mileage. I've seen uh, less vibration. And that alone, to me, more than worth it. I know that my engine is being taken well care of, so thank you, Shell. And it's something else that goes along with oil. Please check your oil. You know, I see so many people that, you know, they, they you can you can see it. You can see the truck shake, so you know that it starts up if you're not close. You see, you're kind of, you know, you're doing your thing, whatever, you may be on your phone. A couple of minutes later, they drive off. They never got out of the truck. I see it every single day. Don't be like that. Check your oil. At worst, check your oil every other day. That's at worst. You should be checking it every single day because stuff happens, you know? So check your oil often and keep it nice and topped off. You wanna make sure that you have the proper oil levels in there. You wanna make sure that everything's being lubricated. If not, that's what causes engine wear. That's gonna wear out your engine faster. That's gonna cost you lots of money. And then also, I highly recommend doing oil samples. Oil samples give you uh, the, uh, you know, the metals that are inside of your oil. And there, there's a ton of different metals that are in these engines coming from all the different, you know, the transmission all over the place. And they will show up in your oil before you actually have the problem. So it gives you, it kind of gives you, it points you in the right direction. You know, it could be X, Y, Z rather than the whole alphabet. So that way you're not just throwing money at a problem. You know what's actually going on. Number four, and this is just a, a very minute part of the list, but these are some things that you should change yearly. Yes, every single year. You shouldn't wait until they wear out. You should just go ahead and change them. And right off the bat, I'm gonna say shocks. Shocks are so important. I mean, you know, the harder that that truck, you know, slams down, the more wear and tear that you're, you're, that's causing on everything. So if your shocks work properly and you, you replace them before they actually wear out, you're not gonna have as much truck uh, vibration and, and, and all of that, so less, less wear on the truck is what I'm trying to say. And also your air filter. Now, your air filter, it, it depends on your location, uh, where you're running, what you're running. Uh, and then the weather that's going on. You know, if you're in the desert all the time, you're probably gonna wanna change it every six months. Yeah, they fill up quickly. Uh, if you're just kind of generic over the road, you know, all over the place, then probably every year. Um, you know, you, I do check mine every six months though. I'll knock all of the dust out, knock all of the dirt out, and then I'll replace it. But I replace it every year. If it's super bad at that six month mark, then I just go ahead and replace it then but yearly is usually the proper interval, but you definitely want to check it every six months. And also on the topic of filters, you want to change your cab filter. You want to change that about every three to six months. You want to check it every few months. Uh, they get, they're, they're, they're pretty small, so they build up that dirt very, very quickly. And you really just don't want that going in the cab, do you? And also your coolant filter. Yes, you have a coolant filter if you didn't know. Uh, mine is very well hidden right behind the frame, but it's about half the size of a Coke can roughly. And uh, you know, it's super easy to change and you just change that out. Uh, when you're, I change mine out, I change all of this out at the same time. I also change out my decasent filter. I believe that's how it's pronounced, but it's your, it's your air dryer filter. I replace that every year as well. So every rear you wanna check all of these things or replace all of these things, check them maybe even earlier intervals. Now, number five, these are just 
a few small things that you can carry with you that will kind of keep DOT off of your back. Um, you know, you can fix things in a pinch and it will get you down the road. So you, you, you notice a little trend here getting down the road. Uh, you know, you want to be able to uh, help yourself get down the road. That way you're not calling the hook. The hook is super expensive. Definitely at all costs, stay away from that. But, you know, there, there's, there's few things that you can carry and there's certainly more, but I'm going to touch on three. One of those is going to be extra clamps. Clamps are great. You can clamp all kinds of things. <laughs> you can clamp things uh, all over the place. They, they generally don't wear out, but sometimes they do break. So having those, you know, they're going to break in a spot that you didn't expect and then you're not going to be able to get to it. And you just, you don't want to have to call service out for something stupid like a clamp. Uh, you know, something else that you want to carry is rubber hose. Now this goes with the clamp. If you pop a coolant leak, you can cut that rubber hose, put it on and clamp it down. And I actually have, I have a spot where like the clamp was rubbing through the, the hose. So I, I took some rubber hose and I, and I made it extra padded. It's been like that for about a year and a half, I think, and I haven't had an issue with it whatsoever. The last thing is gonna be extra airline connections. Usually you wanna carry quarter inch. That's, that's generally what you're gonna run across. If you pull the dash back, there's gonna be all kinds of fittings, all kinds of sizes back there. So you may wanna carry all of those, but quarter inch is, is really, it's gonna take care of most of what you have. And having those, I mean, I was going down the road, I, I'm pretty sure I was in, uh, it was either Iowa or Wyoming. And I noticed that, you know, my air, it just kept, it kept kind of burning down and then it would build and burn down and build. So I pulled into the rest area, killed it. And sure enough, I could hear it plain as day. I carry them with me. So I was able to be back on the road less than 10 minutes down the road, no issue. These little things like this, they're gonna keep DOT off your back. And the last thing, and I can't believe I even need to say this, <laughs> but it, it definitely needs to be said, that's tire maintenance. You know, whenever I first got in this business, I was a company driver and, you know, I was, we were pulling, you know, I didn't have a trailer that was mine whenever I was OTR. I, I, it was just whatever was available at the customer pretty much. And I can't tell you how many tires that I had to change because I wouldn't roll down the road like that. I just, I don't want to risk a blowout. I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be put down. I don't want the downtime. So, you know, tire maintenance, that, that includes checking the tires, have yourself a tire gauge or excuse me, a pressure gauge, know what's in there, know what should be in there. Uh, also they sell the, they sell a, 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 a hose with a glad hand on it. And then you can pop your airline, hook the glad hands together and you can actually air your tire up, which will get you down the road. Notice the trend, get you down the road to the shop. So that way you can have it replaced in a timely manner. And even if you're a company driver, being able to get down the road to the shop, not having to sit there waiting on roadside service or something like that, it's going to save you so much time and therefore it's going to make you more money because your wheels are turning. If your wheels aren't turning, you're not earning in this business. So, you know, keep, make sure that you're checking your tires regularly. This is multiple times a day, multiple. And basically every time that you get out of that truck, you should be doing a walk around, even if it's very basic. But you should also check your air pressure every single day because elevation, temperature changes, all of these things affect air pressure. So you want to stay on top of that. But anyway, if you got something from this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. But as always, stay driven.